What is up, you guys? It is Nate in 2001 here, and we are back again with another episode of the GTA 5 Story Mode. Now, today we're going to be playing as Franklin yet again. I'm actually going to hop off this because I don't remember having this bike, but I'm really about to cop it. I've been saying cop so much lately, and I have no idea why. Um, but anyway, today, uh, it won't let me... At least last time I was on here, in the last episode, it wouldn't let me switch character. Okay, now it is for whatever reason. I don't know, that's really odd. It wouldn't let me switch character yesterday, or yeah, whenever I recorded this. I don't remember when I recorded it. But, uh, oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that was cool. Alright, so. It looks to me like. I'm confused. Hold up. It has the P question mark again. And I don't know why, because I know it saved. So I hope. I hope to God I don't have to redo that mission. And if I do, I'll just cut through it. And I'll tell you guys about it, but I'm not for sure. I'm about to go check it out. I'm gonna act like I didn't just totally almost wipe out. Um, okay, wheelie, for good luck. I'm sorry, we're finished for the day. Come back tomorrow, we're expecting... What was that? That was weird. Oh no, it's just... It's another mission from him that I can do. He's here apparently. I don't see him. I don't know. Either way, we're gonna run back to Franklin's old house with his aunt. Cause there was some beef there. We're gonna try to squash it. See what oh hello, I almost just crashed right into that. That literally made me cringe. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go squash this beef. Potentially. We might also not. We might just make it worse by showing up, but it's whatever. Maybe we can give old auntie some love. Tell her that she can be a part of my riches once I make it big. Okay. Alrighty, so we're pulling up on it. There's like a green circle next to me, which is really weird. I just, let me just do this. Not like a circle next to me, but uh, see up there? It's like a green thing. I don't know why. That's weird. Apparently can't go upstairs with a bike. You just run across this little area. Okay. Yeah, because I did get that email from her. She was like, this ain't your home no more. Okay, here we are. What is you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what it is, home Leo. You ain't been to the set, ain't came to none of the meetings. Is that Chop? Mm, when did he get Chop? Knowing your homies, acting all superior. Your mama would turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gang bang. Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where's Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say, who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. Forever. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass. Shut sister. the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Here, darling. Why don't you? Go get yourself something nice, okay? <laughs> you. <laughs> is, is it seven dollars? I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You savage. All the same. Man, what, what a the savage. Fuck are you doing here? here with the boy, the boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? I'm talking about the little stress thing, man. 
fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. Man, just come on. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Oh. Apparently he knows all about Chop. Chop goes in the back seat. He just, he just got back there too. Down Grove Street. We shooting shit up. Spraying some motherfuckers. I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you in stress set up? We buy weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga. Real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you and stress concerned. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh, first rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust. Fool want to get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, old boy. Homie's crazy, man. <laughs> so I've heard. All right. Homie live up here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? He said everybody, like, Trevor isn't the only one here. Hey, be on point. This fool janky. Courier service. Packers to collect. You got the grip? President accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> <laughs> My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now, you heard what your boy said. You're leaving. Hey, give me that. Give me that. Back. Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. Damn, you can't fucking hustle a hustler. How did he know about that? Chop just ran. Chop's gone. <laughs> yeah, Chop's gone. I need to switch to Trevor. I don't know why, but I apparently do. Let's clear out. Let's go. Get up. You get Probably a bad choice, but it's worth it. Get the grip, I'm saying, get the grip. What are we waiting for? There's Franklin. Come on, a work's done here. I don't want to get clapped on my first crew ride. What? I don't know why I just shot at that, but...
Stay right there, dog. Hold up, hold up. P, P. Man, jack they ass, homie. That's our way up out of here. These are right. Ah! Put your fucking hands up. Ah! You being deprived of these vehicles, You're bitch. Still. Hey, they taking clip shit. Jack it, homie. What the fuck are you doing? Savage. Oh, man. Damn, it's stinking this motherfucker. Shit ain't no river, man. It's a motherfucking sewer. Then we in the right place. Oh, she's still here. She's there's a girl in the back of my. Hey, oh, she's gone. Come on, I'm stuck. Go. You are under arrest. Stop the craft and wait for a police boat. He'll fix himself. Alrighty, so where are we going? What's the game plan here? Are we just like driving? Let's say split. these buoys uh, okay so I guess I only have the cop in the water the noise is annoying me so bad Out of sight. We just need to stay that way. I'm gonna pull up and around this island right here. I'm watching them cops. I think we're okay. Some Chinese folks stopped by the trailer today. They seemed a little angry. Did you do something to accept them from Ron? Okay, yes, I've already done that. It took me 10 minutes to do that entire mission. Dang, okay. So now I'm Trevor. So it kind of just leads into it, I guess. What's up? T, how's Los Santos? We miss you. We really miss you. Listen, there's been all kinds of crazy sniffing about. I just heard a radio advert about the flying school that's in Los Santos. It's not saying you need to learn new things, just saying you might like it. No one is happy and it's hard for me to do my job as acting CEO of the business. I think you should come back and help me and stay here for forever, like we discussed. I'm worried that the lizard people will eat you in Los Santos. They're there. The lost seem to be in a lot of trouble since you paid them your last visit. The O'Neills also seem to have disappeared off the face of the earth. Abducted, I hope, but I reckon they'll sur surface again. Some Chinese fellows was seen sniffing about, asking after you in town. I reckon them guys that deal fell through with them. 
I, I reckon the guys that deal fell through with, but I ain't confirmed it yet. Either way, I miss you, your CEO, acting Ron. No, no, I ain't got no scrap with you. What, dude? Someone's on the rack. Slow in the motherfucking head. You want some more? Asshole. Come on with your avatar looking self. Looking like the last airbender. Here's a guitar. Can I pick it up? I cannot. I can apparently walk right. Th Ow! <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, sea racing. It's Brad from prison. No, it must be an imposter or something. He's dead. I saw pictures of his funeral. I know. Why don't you come here and visit me, Brad? What? Okay, either way. Confused. I keep getting all these emails and crap that I don't care about. So I guess with all the, like, you should come back talk, I feel like I'm supposed to go back. Oh my god. So is there any way I could sw I can actually switch between characters. So I'm going to go to Michael, actually. And I'll, I'll deal with Trevor in the next episode, I promise. But we're going to see what Michael's been up to, because it's been a minute. I don't even remember what he was doing last time we checked in on him. But uh, he's probably just having a beer, smoking a cigar. Okay. I'm going to go upstairs and change because I'm not going to walk around town in no shirt. I feel like I always have to change every time I freaking mess with this dude. I like when he has glasses. He always looks good with glasses. Okay. Steve. DeSanta. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse, off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. Go to the warehouse. It says I can switch to Trevor, but I'm really not trying to switch to Trevor. I want to be Michael. Leave me alone. Why is it... Unless it's just once forcing me to be Trevor. I don't know how I got there that quickly because I last time I checked was in the middle of nowhere. Oh my god. Sweet Jesus. What the hell are you doing? Oh, nothing. Are you taking a dump? Oh, why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know. Nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. Did you see his face that last time I popped him? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. And you, you back there. I know you, but you? You I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, mm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep this little bastard away from me. No, 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 Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this is okay. Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? 
Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, group fly, VIP. No? Oh, you're so, a fucking spy. <laughs> <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? them, I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I... Hey! This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 Cause I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Go. All right. Fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Wait, wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. That's crazy. We totally are probably interrogating the wrong guy. Because I'm... Then again, I'm not necessarily a... You know... Behavior, annual, behavior analyst. I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate so is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to... Hey! That would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well. You dick! <laughs> oh, boo -hoo 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 for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal... Stop! And the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job. Brad went down, you went down. Trevor got away. Watch it! <laughs> I'm so sorry. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back. Oh, you screwed up my car! Back then, sure. Not now. Fuck! Get the money back this is bullshit. This place? Davy. They've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new. Oh wait. Oh, okay. This is. Um, we're about to torture Get someone. Let me do this. Sausage factory, all right. Make some sausage. That's dangerous. You could kill me. No, no, no. You can't. <laughs> Oh, 
his pants. <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tay here. Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tay here. I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Oh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> Chumash. Such a weird, weird name. Alrighty. So now, we're about to pull up on this other dude. It's actually really not that far away. Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. Oh, Jesus. Than they need. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Talent. The trainee's right. You dick! It's a good exercise. Wait, so oh, Brad is dead. How'd that he, get started? He's in my Seven grave. Years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave. And you fucking know it. This'll do. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh no, no, please! I tell what? you what, you loosen want him to up. Know. No, please. Uh, let me go with this. You gotta be a sick fuck to want to be a dentist. Are you still alive? Let me find it, please don't. This is disgusting. And there she is. Oh, well, you ain't gonna be chewing steak anytime soon. I'm so sorry, I ain't get out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I, I got kidnapped the second That's six what we ago. were afraid of. So, yeah, 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 yeah. This talking. guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built. I was like middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijan for all I know. <laughs> what does one look like? They look Eastern. Well, half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there.
That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. <laughs> Sorry, too no. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Woo. It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's going to hurt. Knee shot. Oh, no. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, no. No, 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 I knew it was that guy. No, no, I'm not. No, yeah, I'm telling the truth. Bushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Yeah, the guy on the right side of them at bottom middle. No, he's not in the middle, but like bullets and put him in our form and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. I need eyes on that party. Pick up the scope and give me a report. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. You freaking kidding me? It has to be that guy at the bottom that's smoking. It's been a long day until you give us some intel on our target. <laughs> He smoke. He smoke like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time, just to be sure. No, Dude, I, I no, already know who the guy he is. Smokes. That's all I know. I haven't done the gasoline yet. I'll be doing this shit at elementary schools in no time. It's legal, bro. Legal. I will drunk. I will. Say this. My mouth. I was drowned! Ow! I got blood in my mouth! I was drowned! This is so messed up. Legal, but he can still drown. Yep, he comes. Well, that's what happens when you put the body through the ringer. In his heart? <gasps> the light. Let me go through it. <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, you please. <laughs> okay. He chain smoked. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smoked. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. <laughs> It's that guy Steve's right there. Telling me he chain smokes redwoods. Well, he's right-handed. That'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy, guy. because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, uh, and he's left-handed. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, it's good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be, used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <coughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just tortured me. 
Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Get Alrighty, and we're going to go to the airport in the next episode. Make sure you leave a like in this video and in the comments below let me know. Do you think that Trevor went too far in the torture? Do you think it probably wasn't that important? Honestly, that's my thought process right now, but you know. I didn't write the story. <laughs> anyway, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I try to upload new content every single day except for the weekends. And I will see each and every one of you in the next video. Have a good day and goodbye.